Alright, how's it going everyone? My name is Theron, and welcome back to another Fire Emblem Heroes summoning session. Today we have the new Reagan and Moore banner. Very catchy title. Really impressive here, IS. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna get into the summoning. So I am going to pull all four colors. Obviously gotta skip green, because there's uh, nobody new there. But I am going to also go for color this as well. Go. Oh my god! <laughs> A free to barn? Why? <laughs> hold, on. hold on for a second here. <laughs> what the hell? To barn! Why? <laughs> Alright, plus speed minus HP. Cool. Uh, that's a great way to kick off book five. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, that was so unexpected. At four star, there we go. That's normal for me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, I gotta regain composure here. God, Devarn, why? <sighs> okay, okay, I gotta... Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> it's only the first circle! It's only the first circle! <laughs> At least it's a new unit. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Plus attack, minus res, Dwessel. God, what is... I so much I want to talk about! You guys aren't giving me the time to say anything! <laughs> you units! Why? Uh, is this gonna be Natasha? God! <laughs> At least it's a four star. That's a good thing. <laughs> Well, that happened. Uh, plus res minus speed. You know what? That's good. That's good. You know what? YOLO. I'm pulling that green. I don't care that it doesn't have a new unit on it. I'm pulling the green. Okay, good. Finally, the BS can stop. God, what is that circle? Ah, no. Go away. Not now. Stop. Shut up. <sighs> okay. Ticket time. <laughs> Finally, I get a chance. Uh, okay. So, even though that just happened... Uh... What was I going to talk about, even? Oh, right. Uh, the Book 5 update. Uh, this is probably... My favorite chapter that we've gotten in Fae. Just the entire Steampunk vibe is something I like. And something that I've wished the Fire Emblem would do for a long time. And I finally have it. And another Natasha! Hello! Yeah, you're just... You might be a merge. Ooh, plus speed. Ah! Now here's the problem that I have to face. Oh boy. Alright. I'm still gonna pull colorless, cause. Just because. Yeah, th this looks to be my favorite uh, chapter they've given us. Especially with the that mech suit that uh, Reagan's wearing. 
That just looks cool. I, I'm kind of interested to see where this is going. Obviously, it's some, again, more overthrow the king of a, a destroyed world, but at least he's a corrupt king, so that's good. But what I'm really interested in is, uh, as we saw in the, I think the movie for this chapter, we had uh, two new female characters that obviously they have to be Valkyries of Valhalla. Hey, Marth. Don't worry, I'll get back to playing your Shadow Dragon game, but for now, heroes. Yeah, th those two, I think one had uh, lime green hair, very much looked like Rhea from Three Houses. But they definitely look like Valkyries of Valhalla, Asgard. Hi again, Tasha. So, to me, that's just another confirmation that we are one step closer to fighting Odin the Allfather and many more of the Norse gods. Which, in my opinion, North Norse mythology best mythology to research. Suck it, Zeus. But also, I'm wondering, uh, we see in the, like, full artwork, there's a blonde female character with a large white hat that has, like, an eye on it? Who is she? My theory is she's the one who corrupted, uh, uh, what's his name? Fafnir. Which makes sense, obviously. But I'm wondering who she is, because she can't be Loki. We already have her. I'm trying. I'm actually trying to think who she could be in Norse mythology, because the, it's like one of the heavy inspirations for Fire Emblem. But I'm loving this chapter so far. Now I am kind of, I am kind of shocked that this banner is Sacred Stones units. It wasn't my first guess. I think my first guess was Shadow Dragon because the finally localized version of Epi One came out uh, four days ago. I think that sounds about right. But Sacred Stones is always a good option for you know like a run run. I think they have the least amount of units in-game, excluding three houses, of course. So it, it's good to see more characters from Stones. So this is going to be Selena or Dwessel? Nope, three-star, good. Uh, other... other book five changes. I'm just thinking to myself here, trying to... Remember. Oh, uh, Aether Raids. I can go full circle. Uh, the update is nice. I'm not big on, like, uh, PvE game modes in Heroes or any sort of game, just because I don't find them that entertaining, but I do like this change where it's now two Mythic Heroes will give you a bonus. I'm still trying to figure out that other... Uh, what was it? Uh, if you have a mythic hero at the tail end of your raiding party, you can have an extra slot open. It, does that work for like tier 21 and above? Right now I'm at like tier 19, but does that only work for tier 21? Please let me know because it, it says I can't do that and yet the option is also available. So I'm having, I'm getting mixed signals here. But if, it, if it's for tier 21, that's kind of BS, because you, you can't just tell us something that will be added and then say, nope, you get, players from here to here are not allowed to use it, only the top tier can use that. That's stupid. That's just fully stupid. Uh, what else? I mean, you do have the quest for like a thousand uh, faith raids currency. I don't remember what that was called. Yeah, that's okay, but I really hope they find a better use for the the like green dew that you get 
for spending a certain amount of uh, those stones in AR. In AR. Oh, and another Dwessel. Hi. Because I I have like fifteen thousand of that dew. I gotta find a use for that, if there ever is one. Plus HP. Nope, the plus attack version of you is better. By a long shot. Oh yeah, that's right. The uh, Yeah, the new appearance rate. Because th there's something to talk about while I'm summoning. It, I actually really like seeing what percentage rate we're at now that we're you know, in the summoning screen. That is something I've wanted for a long time. It's just so annoying to have to back out, go to appearance rates, and then see that and, you know, ruin the chance of getting, you know, a possible five-star in the circle you already have because you don't know what appearance rate you're at. Finally, they added this. And I absolutely love the other feature where if you're pity broken by a off-focus five-star, it just resets by a little bit. Hi. Uh, hi, Keaton. Speak of the devil, sort of. Yeah, I was talking about off-focus five stars, and you overheard me. Yeah, plus B. I think that's good. I'll double-check later. But, I, again, I love how an off-focus five star doesn't immediately reset the appearance rate. It just knocks it down a little bit. And another Natasha. I. Plus defense, okay. Okay, 14 more pulls, and then it's the free summon. I'm going until the free summon. Ugh, you don't you hate to see that. So, a, a bit of a question for you guys, if you're watching this. Or if you've been, uh, uh, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Recently active on my channel, I think is what I'm trying to say. Uh, recently, I I only have one part out, but I've been doing a Shadow Dragon Let's Play, or at least, you know, starting one up. Uh, obviously, I have, again, I've only done one part, but it, it is that something you guys are interested in, or do you just want it to be just summoning videos for a little while longer and then uh, Let's Plays. Because we have like one to two weeks in between each of these new banners. So I want to try and fill in that space with like, you know, Fire Emblem Let's Plays or just Let's Plays of indie games or, you know, something to that nature. Is that... Do, doing Let's Plays, you know, it's different than a summoning video, I know that, but it can definitely, it's something for me to, you know, be a bit more confident during some of these summoning videos. Plus, I mean, playing a game that, you know, kind of, kind of just got released, I might do, like, you know, older games, if I ever get around to them, of course. But, you know, doing Let's Plays for... Or some some games that aren't just exclusively heroes. It, is that something you guys would be interested in? Again, I only have one part of Shadow Dragon out, so it, I'll try and get more recorded. Ooh, I can go full circle here. And yes, I am still pulling on red. I do have the free Reagan. Hey, Selena! I did get the free Reagan, sure. But I also kind of want one with better IVs. I don't have enough trait fruit to do that. Ooh, minus attack. Well, at least 
we have life and death four, so that can at least help with it. Oh! Uh, hello. Okay, so when the five-star unit shows up, it doesn't reset. That's nice. Again, that is something that is so nice. Because when you back out, it resets. So thank God that they added that. I really hope she gets a refine. If the faulty is good, sure, but it needs a refine to be better. <laughs> That's the third Dwessel I have gotten on this banner. Good lord, dude. Are you guys just trying to make sure Ephraim keeps up with his training? Or what? Plus defense. Again, plus attack, much better. Alright, this is going to be a five-star Natasha. I'm going to throw my phone if that happens. Okay, good, Mercedes. <laughs> God, how many, how many Natashas have I gotten? I've already lost track. Okay, four more, and then it's the free pull. I'm going full circle. God, th this was a roller coaster summoning session. Uh, that first circle. I'm still in shock about that one. I'm still laughing about it, too. something on. I never thought I'd get this far. I didn't think about this. Oh god. Actually no, I didn't think I would get this lucky. I planned on like, you know, Dwessel or uh, Selena, but apparently they showed up pretty early. <laughs> Do I just go for 5 star Natasha and then... God, I don't know what to do now. I don't want to spend it on Reagan, that's for sure. Okay, well, time to decide. Who do I choose? Oh my god. Because I, I already have a free U. So that's a no. You've shown up three times. You, I don't know how many times have shown up, but you would be like the best option. You are also a good option. It's between, it's between Natasha and Selena. Oh God. Okay, well, what was your, what was your kid again? Tacris plus life and death four and a ruse. Or what's more like demote skills. Absorb murder plus I could actually use that. HP resin close guard. Ah decisions, decisions. Oh wait. You also have the new solo skill, don't you? Yep, defense for his solo four. A lull skill and a ruse. God, you have too much fodder. No, I have I have three of you. I don't need more of you. I think I might go with Natasha. Just give her a few more merges. 
Oh my god, I don't know. <sighs> um... Again, I don't need another Reagan. She's already neutral IV, so that's just pointless. Oh. I have to go Selena. No. There will be many more opportunities for Natasha to show up, I'm sure of it. God, that was the most indecisive I've ever been in this game. Wow. Neutral? All right. So that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching me lose my mind during that first circle. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Uh, if you did summon on this banner, please let me know who you got down below. Please tell me you also had better luck than me, so that way I feel, I guess, good about what happened. That's not what I'm trying to say here. That was stupid of me. Uh, but if you haven't summoned on this banner, I wish you all the luck, and I hope you have the same results that I did, because holy hell. Uh, but with that, I'm Theron, saying I'll see you next time. So until then, farewell.